Greetings. Thanks for tuning in to Peace if you can find it. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, on my analysis of the movie Sound of Freedom. I keep saying Cry of Freedom because that's more appropriate. They crying out. But I would like to add that I was speaking more from a woman and a, a little girl's point of view because that's what I am. I'm a woman and I used to be a little girl and that little girl in me that didn't know what was going on. I'm a woman now and I'm free to do analysis on myself and to know that children that have been abused as a child, they grow up, but they're not free. You grow up and you get strung out on drugs. You get strung out on being promiscuous, having many people in your life, in your garden. You know what I'm talking about? You're just promiscuous because you're suffering. You're suffering from what happened to you as a child. And then little boys that grew up to be men, they have problems. And all of this happened because the breakdown of the family. No men in the family, no uncles, no grandfather to, to be protective of the children. Because this is happening in the black community. And it's an epidemic. It, we have accepted it as the norm. And I'm hearing that we as a people, African black people, are becoming more comfortable with pedophilia. What world, what planet am I on? I made the wrong damn turn. I surely did. And if I knew, I keep saying this, what I know now, then this is not the place to have children. It's anti-life. And all that I spoke of about what they are doing to children, boys and girls, men, males, women, everybody in the prisons, everywhere, in the fields. Think about the animals. I care about animals. I didn't used to. As a Christian, I used to go to the zoo and enjoy seeing them behind bars, locked up the press. Not free to roam in Africa. A lion and a tiger locked up behind bars being taken care of by two-legged beasts. It's wrong when you think about it. And then you think about how animals are being mistreated right now. They breed puppies and cats to be eaten up by other dogs. I guess it's the way of the world, huh? Because they do it in the animal world, but let them do it on their own. Why do humans have to act like animals? But I guess they're not humans. But yeah, they are penetrating Dogs, pigs, animals. They're doing all kinds of things in the lab with them. I saw a documentary where they were doing a test in South Africa and taking chimpanzees, where they were attempting to do it, to South Africa to, to put into African women. They took sperms of a zebra and mixed it with a dog. They're doing all kind of diabolical things. There's a slogan that said, hell is empty. The demons are here. Who's to disagree with me? Am I lying? Tell the truth. Anyway, I'm on end. I just wanted to share that. that oh, this BS. Is happening to children. And what's worse than that is that nobody can. We know that. That marching in the street, all of that sensationalism, that just give people jobs. That just give people a show on YT and talk about it like I do. But they getting paid big bucks to talk about other people's despair. 
so enough despair. They they get paid to talk about it. They running from pillar to post, channel to channel to channel, talking about what's going on right now. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to talk about it, but get into that because that's something else, and I I just don't want to do it. I want to talk about the children. That nobody's going to come save the children here, right here in the United States. That's a task for us right here. You know? Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Who's going to save them? <laughs> I think about it. Nobody.